I tested three kit lenses. You will find out which one has the best performance at distortion and vignetting. I looked at Canon's 15 to 45 mm lens for EOS M mirrorless cameras and the lenses that Panasonic and Olympus provide for their mirrorless cameras. At the ending of this clip, we will find out which lens wins. Let's see the distortion first. Here we are at the widest angles and we see battle distortions for all lenses. On the Canon lens, we see quite a strong one. It's not terrible, but if we look at the Panasonic lens, battle distortion is a bit lighter and the Olympus lens has the smallest battle distortion amount. Let's zoom in halfway. Here, all the lines are nice and straight. No distortions, which is great. If we zoom in all the way, the only image that looks odd comes from the Canon lens. Strangely, it has a small battle distortion. The other lenses have no issues. So, when it comes to distortion performance, the Olympus lens takes the first place. Panasonic is on second and Canon with the poorest results is on third. Moving to vignetting performance. At the widest angle, at f5.6, all images look good. Well, not the one coming from the Canon lens. If we close to f3.5, whoa, Canon's kit lens definitely doesn't look good. Those corners are very dark. Now is a good time to mention that all in-camera corrections were turned off during testing. Panasonic and Olympus also have dark corners here. Let's close the aperture to f4. All images improved, but they don't look good. We still don't see bright corners. Stopping to f5 and finally the Panasonic and Olympus lens obtain even illumination. For Canon's kit lens, we see a decent performance only now at f8. It gets the second place, while the other lenses having the same performance share the first place. Let's zoom in halfway. By default, the aperture changed. We have dark corners on all images. The Canon lens improved a bit from what we previously saw, but it's still the worst performer. Panasonic and Olympus are head to head. If we close to a 5.6, we get a nice result. Here, all lenses have the same performance. But if we want to see even illumination, we'll have to stop down to f8. Again, Panasonic and Olympus share the first place, and Canon is in second. Zooming in all the way, and surprisingly, Canon has the best performance now. Panasonic and Olympus show dark corners, but they are also at f5.6, a wider aperture. For fairness, we'll bring them all to f6.3. The two lenses for Micro Four Thirds cameras improved, but Canon still looks better. At f7.1, we see even illumination on the top left side, and only now, at f8, the other two lenses have a good performance. Canon's kit lens wins first place here. It's a bit too late though, it lost the other two rounds. So, when it comes to vignetting, Panasonic and Olympus share the first place and Canon is in second. Overall, these are the final results. When it comes to distortion and vignetting, Olympus has the best kit lens. And I want to say this, every person that owns one should appreciate it more. If you want to see me test more lenses, subscribe to this channel and see you on the next one.